Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, July reading, the month of July Capricorn. I'm going to start with uh, your finances. And this will all blend together eventually, but first finances, then relationship, and then anything else you need to go and we'll tie it together. So let's have a look at your finances, your money. Ooh, we have something, yeah, four of air. Some of you are pinned down by your thoughts here. I do see there could be something with moving, relocating, or having to learn something new. Some of you are in your head with something here. Okay, a lot of thinking. Could have to do with moving, relocating, but it's maybe having to learn something new. I feel if there's any choices to make with moving and relocating to sleep on it. Okay. Clearing things up, clearing things out. And I do feel it could have to do with relocating. And I see a windfall of abundance. I see good luck and right timing. So it's about the timing of something. It's very positive, but it has to do with possibly having to move, relocate, or learn something new. So you can have this uh, wheel of fortune. But it tells me a cycle's over, a new cycle's beginning. Yeah, I see contract negotiation job opportunities here, something that goes in your favor. So it's an energy of just someone who's is having a hard time making a decision, not ready to make a decision. Okay, like I say, it could involve moving or relocating. Yeah, some of you too could be saving your money. See, sort of saving your money, trying to not live above your means, but look at the Wheel of Fortune. Your luck is about to change. Some kind of contract negotiation here. Yeah, it could, like I do, I see a possible change of lifestyle and having to relocate or having to save money. Uh, I feel there's a lot of focus on money. You're thinking about it a lot here, about the future. But I feel there's good luck, good fortune, and timing. It's all in good timing. Let's grab this other card. Tell me about this four of air. Yeah, some of you could be single parents too. You might be thinking of something in the past, too, to do with your money. See, saving your money, maybe a legacy inheritance for your children. Maybe that's what you're thinking here as well. Or you're a single parent. Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are working a lot. Uh, some of you are definitely working a lot. So it's an energy of wanting to build something here. So I do feel um, you could be revisiting something that you've done before. Something to do with children. But I feel some of you, it's an energy of, you know, wanting to leave money for children. Um, yeah, I see. It's, there could be something to do with inheritance here, too, uh, for yourself. But I see a lot of work. Lots and lots of work. Perfecting your craft and skills. Learning something new. Some of you may have to learn something new here. But there's something from your past. I feel it's an energy of little reminiscing that you're thinking about here. If you have to move and relocate, it could go in your favor that way. You could end up with your children or not wanting to leave them behind or grandchildren or, yeah. But I really feel it's that Six of Swords tells me something, you're reminiscing about something here, something you did in the past, some, some things that you learned or you may need to uh, perfect some skills and learn something new, but it's still positive. Yeah, the high priestess is telling you to trust your intuition. You have the answers within yourself. Like I say, if there is something you wanted to do when, maybe when you were young or something to do with children or you have to learn something new about that. But I feel perfecting those craft skills, working very, very hard here. So something is going to pay off. This is going to pay off. It's saying to trust your inner knowing. Okay, I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. You just have to work really hard. You have to keep working. Some of you may be at that point too where you're thinking of retiring and you need to keep working because of if you want to leave, you know, inheritance or legacy. But some of you could actually get uh, some kind of inheritance coming in. Yeah, some of you, you're just keeping your feelings to yourself. See, that's that energy of suffering in silence, keeping it all to yourself. But I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. There's a cycle over, a new cycle beginning. So, wow. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't be afraid to, to share that. You might want to, you know, if it is inheritance, money, or you're worried you won't have enough. I feel it's just more, it, to me, it feels like worrying. Just, you know, you're keeping your feelings to yourself about this. But I feel you, you, you know, you already know that 
there's a new cycle beginning a windfall of abundance is all about the timing the timing is something the time is right see and it could be where something you feel it's coming in at the wrong time um, and it could to do with school education to do with children too waiting for them you know waiting to say something here of having to move and relocate but i do feel some positive energy tell me about the six of cups yeah, some kind of truth. You're having some kind of aha moment. You're seeing the truth. It has to do with truth. I see victory. I actually feel like you're going to have a victory here. I do. And I think some of you are a bit of worry wart. Yeah, see it saying to save your money, hold on to your money. You're saving for your children, legacy, or you're waiting for an inheritance. But there's, I feel like you're focusing on one thing too much, focusing on your money too much. Okay? A lot of... You know, uh, it's an energy of balancing out your life, Capricorn. You're usually really good at that, but I feel like you're saving your money right now. So in other words, when you go shopping, you see the truth, you know, spending your money wisely, using your resources wisely, and just keep working. Yeah, a lot of focus on that. Don't forget to focus on your children if you're a single parent. Okay, keep everything balanced because that's what the Four of Pentacles is about. You know, you feel maybe you you know it's often a person who takes stock of their finances and they look at it and think, well, I'm gonna have to work forever. <laughs> I think it's all gonna be fine. There's going to be some kind of change. Let's have a look at the high priestess. Yeah. So I do see the energy of what do we have here? Which one came out first? Yeah. So we have transformation. And we have justice. So it's an energy of something just right, doing something right. Some of you are perfectionist, like you're trying to perfect something or you're trying to be too perfect. Okay, but I see justice, things going in your favor. There's some sort of change and transformation. Changes or transformation needs to be made. Six of Wands. See, it's an energy where there's something that wasn't successful. You feel like it's not going to be successful or you're just chasing that success. I feel like you already are. Um, but I feel like something's about to start going in your favor. Justice is in your favor, and it could be, like I say, uh, to do with a job or situation here. Yeah, You want to make sure, you know, like I say, make sure everything is fair, but I do see it's telling you to stay balanced, okay? Something is going to go in your favor. You already know the answers you're seeking. You're going to have to work and save your money. <laughs> Put that back if you don't need it. Because we know it is an energy of material, being materialistic, you see. But I really feel like, you know, work, 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 perfecting your craft, your skills, learning something more. So beautiful energy there. Tell me about the novice of chalices. There we go. And we have, I don't know which one... Um, Seven of Wands, yeah. So it's an edge of being a little guarded, defensive here. You're keeping things to yourself here. But I feel it's an energy of um, standing up for yourself if it is a job situation. But I do feel like you're, you know, it's almost like you're just keeping your feelings to yourself. You're feeling a little guarded, but you already know this hard work is going to pay off. Just save your money for now. You know, the mother of swords, being wise, see, very smart, learning something new. You're learning something new here. I feel like you're just, you know, like I say, being a little careful what you believe right now, but I feel like you're wise. You already know. Trust your inner knowing. You know, justice is going to go in your favor here. This could be an inheritance energy, or maybe there, if, if there's been a divorce or a situation, um, I feel here, uh, you've got some money coming towards you. I could see I could see also getting some legal advice as well. Okay, legal advice. But it's telling you you're learning something new, a new skill. Okay, and I feel like it's going to pay off here. Yeah, I see an emperor energy. This could be a job, an emperor here. See, I feel like you already know. You're going to do very well. This could even be yourself reaching emperor status. But um, I'm sensing a feminine energy here with the Queen of Swords. But if you are a masculine, maybe getting legal advice. Um, but I feel there's an emperor energy. Something is gonna happen just right. I see a negotiation, a contract from a boss, a higher up. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, it could be moving and relocating, but I feel it's more about learning something new, taking some, and it's about, it's about something that you already know. 
It could be something you even learned as a child, something interesting with that too. And I think you're going to have, this is an idea that you're coming up with, but you're seeing the truth. You're going to be victorious. I think you know you're going to be victorious here. <laughs> Deep inside your inner wisdom, your inner knowing, justice is in your favor. But I do think you have to do things just right. You have to stay balanced. See your hopes and dreams. Everything you could wish for. Yeah, you, it's all good here, I feel. Like I say, it's, it's something that you're going to have this idea. And I do see a contract negotiation, something mutual. The star, something to do with your hopes and dreams. I feel like you're going to get what this is that you want, but it is going to take a lot of hard work. I see a learning curve, having to learn something new or relocate, and you need to just save your money. But I do think there's a lot of focus on your money too, okay? So much so. <laughs> you're kind of stuck in that energy, but it's all about using your resources wisely too. You're kind of just taking stock of the situation. So let's have a look at your love life. Queen of water, there you are. Yeah, some of you are longing for love, but you're focused on money, your work, work, work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I see four of water. Some of you feel like you're missing opportunities too. You may be missing opportunities because you're working all the time. I think you need to learn to balance out your work and your love life. I feel that's part of it here too, because I do see that emperor energy as well. <laughs> it's a masculine presence here. Yeah. But I see that four of water here where you feel like you've missed opportunities. I feel some of you are tired. You're working a lot and you're kind of drained. So you're, you feel like you're missing opportunities. I, I see you longing for love, wanting love. Yeah, six of earth, but putting out more money than is coming in. But it has to do with whether someone reciprocates. I actually feel like your hopes and dreams, I feel more money is going to start coming in. But it's saying to hold on to what you have for now. Yeah. Like I say, some of you may be feeling like you're missing opportunities, but you're working and you're feeling a little drained. It's telling you to kind of push through that, to just keep focusing, because it's going to work out in your favor. Yeah, your hopes and dreams, your desires. There could be something you need to let go of, things that are no longer serving. And it is possible some of you could be something to do with a breakup or a divorce or um, a situation in your love life, but there's a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. I feel like you've got this windfall of abundance all just happening just at good luck and right timing. Yeah, I think money is coming in. If you've been putting out more than is coming in, more is coming in. Yeah, ace of water, there you go. And also as far as the love, you got someone reaching out. They hope you feel the same and offer an opportunity, an invitation. Don't miss this opportunity because actually this person could want you for work there's something here about that this is i i feel this is like there's it's coming in something mutual you got a you got the ace of cups opportunity and invitation and it has to do with your love life but somehow it's going to bring you more money i see someone being generous yeah, and I see the three of water. So I see this energy of an invitation, opportunity. This is this is one of those things I seen last week for someone. I, I don't know if it was you or someone else. It's an energy where one opportunity leads to another. Don't miss this opportunity because it could bring you money too. Because this is an emperor. Like I say, it's almost like they're connected. But I feel with the three of water, I see very positive news, good news. Someone asking you out. You could meet some other people through this person. But some of you don't want to put out a lot of money. You feel like you're going to miss opportunities. But I, I feel if you miss this, I, I really think if you anyone asks you out or, um, you know, there's other people involved here. And it's positive. There's positive news. Tell me about the six of earth. Let me use this deck. Tell me about the six of earth. Why is this here? Yeah, see, multiple opportunities. See, it's going to lead to other opportunities. Some of you might have to put, a, you're holding on to your money. <laughs> uh -huh. A little in protective mode too, but I, I feel too. Uh, what I feel is going to happen here is 
multiple opportunities coming in when you least expect it. I see a busy time. You might have to put a little bit of money out for more to come in. But I think one thing's going to lead to another. I see a lot of talk, conversation. I see a lot happening. I feel some of you working a lot too. Like I say, you're just drained at the end of the day. You're longing for love, but you're just too tired. Don't miss this opportunity. Tell me about the Queen of Water. Why is this here? Yeah, you see you've got a communication coming in. So somebody reaching out, it's not very clear. Uh, they're communicating in a way where you're going to look at this. You're going to look at this carefully. Some of you are going to be like, you know, not interested, thanks. I'm tired, I'm drained, I worked all week. Take it. One thing's going to lead to another. I see a busy time. I see more money coming in. I, I do. I just feel there's a lot of this. You're all of a sudden going to start getting busier. Take the opportunity. I, I just, I, I feel freaked out for you that you're going to say no. Because it's a person coming in with a page of wands. It's a start of something. Okay? It's a start of something. And some of you are going to go thanks because you feel like it's that, you know, it's the page of wands. It's someone who's a little bit flirty and fiery. But it's the start of something. And there's the chariot. So it's telling you, if you have cancer in your chart, because we're dealing with this cancer full moon energy coming up, it's going to start building in the next week. And it's already telling us, okay, stay in control of your emotions. Take this opportunity. This is someone that just comes in out of the blue. But it's a start. They're focused. They're very friendly. It's. I feel you could have a good time. Okay, a little flirty. Some of you have been there, done that. But it's saying to take the opportunity, yeah, to think this through, to think it through. It's about choosing your battles. See, some of you are, you're so focused on your money, I feel like you're not focusing on your love life. And that's the thing. This is about balancing out the two. But I feel like you've got this person who kind of comes in. It's a start with the Page of Wands. I thought it was the Page of Pentacles for a moment. I don't know why. But let me look at that. Who is this person? I mean, this could have something to do with a child too. Just starting. Like I see education, just starting school um, or having to relocate. So there's this is all starting to tie together. But who is this person? See, it could be a date here for a good time, not a long time, but you're going to meet other people, which I feel could have something to do with your finances. So, page of water. Why is that here? So, nine of pentacles. Yeah, someone just wants to know if you're single. Oh, seven of pentacles. Yeah, patience. See, it's an energy of being patient. It's an energy of investing, whether to invest in this or not. What is that? Five, yeah, seven. If you are a married person, like I say, there could be something to do with children too. But I, I feel with the Knight of Swords, it's about thinking it through, choosing your battles. This could be something worth fighting for, going after. So this is someone who's coming in. They don't want you to get away. So it's telling you, don't let this person get away. Take the opportunity. I actually feel like you could have a good time. Okay, it's the early stages of something here. But like I say, if they don't stick around, this is someone who rushes in and changes their mind, that's okay. You're going to meet some other people. I, I feel this, you've got opportunity here. And multiple things going on, a busy time. Yeah, Mother of Pentacles, focusing on your money, being too busy. Thanks, but no thanks. Mm. Let's have a look at the Ace of Water. Why is this here? Yeah, see, it's, just, it's telling you, you know, like I say, it's saying to be patient, temperance. Temperance. You need more balance in your life, some of you. You focus too much on your money. And then when you have to, I feel like you have to, but it's always good to get out and socialize. I feel it's going to be uplifting. I feel like you're going to have a good time. You're going to meet some people. Okay, this could have to do with friends and family too. Like I say, there could be a child in here, somebody young. But I feel with the temperance, it's telling you to just um, take a little moment, look at things differently. 
okay? So someone different than your usual type. But I feel like there's some other people going to be here you're going to connect with. I, I really feel, like I say, I feel like this is significant. Um, actually, I'll pull this out. Tell me about the three of water. I'm trying to see what this youthful energy is there. Yeah, see, it's an energy of being patient, investing. See, it's telling you, you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket because there's other people. But this person, you could have fun with this person. They like to talk a lot. I see great conversation, but I feel like you you feel like you're too busy or there's this been there, done that with somebody here who comes in and they're kind of flirty. It's like you're almost not in the mood. <laughs> but it's telling you to go because something to do with work is going to happen there. I do. It's saying don't put all your eggs in one basket, but to invest. See, this could pay off. It has to do with, I don't, I don't, I feel like you don't want to reciprocate or respond. You might even know who this is, uh, but I really feel it's an energy where this could actually pay off, where more money is coming in than is going out. You got a king of pentacles. There you go. That's this masculine energy up here. So this has to do with work. It's some, a person who's generous. You're going to meet this person through other people. Because this is here for a good time, not a long time. You're going to have fun, but you don't have to do anything. And I, I do think you're going to connect with this other person and possibly have a conversation about work. And I feel it's going to happen quick. You're going to feel a little overwhelmed. Okay? But I feel like with this energy, with the queen of staying balanced, look at the situation here. I feel like you're going to see something uh, interesting. And I do see some kind of idea, something unique is going to happen. So you see how it all ties together. This is an energy of investing. You don't have to put all your eggs in one basket, but somebody's got an idea they may want you to invest in. They're stable. But this is someone investing in yourself. Because I feel like you've got some skills here. I just see ID and truth. It's all going to tie together. But I do see you holding on to your money, kind of protecting your money, saving. And you're working, working, working. But I feel like I say, justice is in your favor. And it's like I say, I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. You already know. Take the opportunity. This is your hopes and dreams. And you need to stop this all work, no play, because I can see that is something that's holding you back where you're missing opportunities. But you have it. We've got a king and queen of pentacles. You're going to have a conversation with this person. They're patient. I feel this is someone patient. You don't have to make any sudden decisions. But it's something unique, somebody different than your usual type. So you're going to, this is this person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like this person is like, I mean, they're not patient. They're in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. So they may start this way and then it kind of changes too. So it's, you don't know until you kind of look at it. I feel you're going to, this person's different. They're different than usual type. They're going to see you that way. But the, it's this idea that I see coming together. Tell me about, you're going to have a conversation. I can see it. Yeah, I see the tower. It's going to be a shock, a surprise. It's something sudden. And you could have a date with this person and, and, you know, or go out with this person. It could be an invitation. It could be, you could meet somebody through your children here too. Because I do feel there's there's young people here, youth or just youthful, playful. But it's possible this person just comes in this way a little fast in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. You're going to have a couple of dates with someone, and I think you're going to be shocked and surprised how generous this person is. Yeah, very nice. But the, if this is another person and this leads to the other person, you'll be ending it when you connect with this person very quickly. But the tower is the sudden shock surprise of something that's just right. You're going to connect with someone suddenly. Somebody who's like yourself, someone who's just right. Let's have a look at the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, and we have um, Four of Wands. Yeah, see the Four of Wands. So someone who sees you as marriage material or somebody who's good for a job. It could go either way. A house, a home, a strong financial foundation. There's a reason to celebrate a party. There's some kind of good news coming your way. You've got good news. 
I feel like it's it's, it's going to be a busy time. I see busy, maybe even getting a little overwhelmed, too much going on too fast. And this is why I feel some of you have been working, you're drained. Don't miss this opportunity, okay? Don't miss this opportunity because I actually feel this person, you're going to be shocked and surprised what happens here. Yeah, see contracts, negotiation, hierophant. Now I do see a Taurus energy here, okay? Yeah, but I, you know, it's just an energy of a contract, a negotiation, or some kind of an agreement. So it's an energy of lifestyle, the way someone conducts themselves. So some of you have this person to see how somebody conducts themselves, their morals, their values. I feel you've got positive news. The Page of Wands is often very positive, some kind of happy news. Don't ignore um, emails, phone calls, text messages. Because I do see a house, a home, a family. I see a strong financial foundation, a reason to celebrate. Take it. Um, this is going to turn out very, very well. Yeah, see a high priestess. Trust your intuition. There's that epiphany. And then you're at, after you do this, you're going to go, aha. <laughs> you're going to either, and I see your, it is all in your love life. Your love life and your financial uh, career is going to all come together here and it all has to do with this person reaching out hoping you reciprocate where it's mutual where you both feel the same after a conversation but there's a lot of talk about lifestyles work being busy you know things like this feeling overwhelmed but this person is too so they're going to give you something they may give you some work or they may invest in something an idea so this is quite interesting, but look at that. Birds of a feather flock together. There's the messages, communication. You're going to be hearing from this person again. I see someone being very generous here, and I do see some really good news. You're going to, you're going to date somebody who's your type, for starters. This is someone who's your type. Someone sees you as their type, but there's something tying in the finances too. I love this. Tell me about the Hierophant. And we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, see, some of you got this person, you think they're a player. They're being kind of sneaky, you see. But I'm going to tell you something out. It's an energy of figuring something out. You'll figure this out very quick. And I feel like that's why you're saying thanks, but no thanks. But this is going to lead you to something else here. And I, it's hard to say how it's going to play out, but it has to do with a contract negotiation agreement. It's how someone conducts themselves. You're going to look at how they behave. This person's going to reach out to talk to you. They're more stable. But there's still very positive news. It's an energy of being patient. Somebody here is not patient. They're in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. They want to talk. They're choosing their battles. This is something worth going after. But you're looking at this, been there, done that, because they're kind of flirty. But I feel they're playful. They're youthful. But yeah, if you feel like this person's a player, like I say, I see a celebration, a party, a busy time, a lot of talk, a lot of people talking and talking. Somebody wants to talk to you. They feel they're not getting that opportunity. So they're trying to figure something out. But I also see talking about money, finances. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see <laughs> this card is so interesting. <laughs> you see all those worms? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all right, though. You'll figure it out. I, I, I feel like you're looking at this. I think you're going to miss an opportunity if you don't take this. Yeah, I see the lovers. This is someone who's watching all this, watching how you conduct yourself like the empress. So this is somebody here looking at you, figuring you out. But I also see something to do with money, finances, uh, something financial. The Seven of Swords is often financial. It's about the facts, the figures, the details. And it's an energy of someone who's determined to win. Somebody is going to lose and someone's going to win. The King of Pentacles is winning. It's a win-win for you and this person. Yeah, there's other people involved. I just feel there's just something positive. You're going to have some dates with this person. You're going to connect or they're going to connect you. It's sort of like you bring your people, I'll bring my people is what it kind of feels like here. Okay, so it's very positive. But you've got, you've got some really positive stuff coming in. I feel like you're just kind of... Um, stuck in this stuck situation where you're in protective mode and you've worked hard for everything that you have you feel like you're you know you need to protect yourself 
you know, but it has to do with investing. I feel if, if you don't have enough money to invest in something you want, this person will either connect you to the right people or they're going to. But this is also your love life. I see love. I see you making a choice in love, a bond, a connection. Somebody here, it's an energy of someone who doesn't want you to get away because you're the queen of pentacles, but also the queen of cups. You're the whole package, your marriage material. The chariot, see, full steam ahead. This person's determined to win, and they're looking at the facts. They're looking at what they see. Now, this is somebody here. Like I say, maybe they feel they, they're missing an opportunity to talk. You're talking to other people, probably this person. But there's going to be another opportunity. I mean, or this person's going to come in. They're going to take control. They're taking charge of the situation. This is crazy. So let's have a look at that, see what ties in for the rest of your life, uh, not your life, for the rest of this month. What it is it that you need to know? What else is it that you need to know, Capricorn? Some of you are. I see single parent energy. You just feel like you're never going to have that opportunity. And this could be a child, too. You could have a, a, a communication message, a phone call, something coming in, and this person doesn't uh, pick it up, too. I also see that because I see an energy of patience not investing <laughs> but hoping something pays off someone's going to talk to you it's very very positive if you have a youthful person around you who wants money it could be a child if you're older and they all of a sudden they want some money you're going to put on the brakes on that you're taking control but you have a king of pentacles you're going to talk to this person about some of these things. There's the ace of fire. See the passion. There's some passion. The fire's lit. I also see a creative pursuit and an idea. So this is fantastic. Yeah, this is, the, this is that spark between two people. Queen of Earth. Yeah, see, you're, you're, you're looking into the future. You're already planning ahead. This is the fire that's lit, the passion, a creative idea, something you're passionate about that this person is as well. There's the tower, the sudden epiphany. So you're not going to see this coming. It's just going to happen out of the blue. One thing's going to lead to another. And we have, we have the temptation. So I do see a temptation. So you're tempted by something. And I do see the page of water. So if you, this is the person here. Like I say, you might, like I say, you're looking at this temptation. You're looking at this tower coming down. But I feel like you're just not going to see it coming. So there's a lot of temptation. But you can see the page of water. So you have someone here who's going to start making up excuses. You're, you're, I feel like this is fun. I feel like it's an invitation. It could be from anybody. This could be something to do with school, education, um, meeting somebody through children, because that's what I kind of feel here. It's really, um, really an interesting energy. But those of you where there are no children, I feel it's just a youthful, playful kind of energy. But this and this tells me something as an idea, and it has to do with truth, victory, and success. But the tower, see this temptation. Someone's reaching out, they're tempting you. But one thing's going to lead to another. The, whoever this is is going to start making up excuses or you will make up an excuse. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm tired. Uh -huh. Let's see where that goes. This is crazy. This is different for you. Let's have a look at the Ace of Fire. Yeah, you've got a spark. There's a spark between you and this King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, from the masculine perspective, this is birds of a feather flock together. A lot of talk and communication. Very positive. Very positive news. And what do we have here? What is this? Five. So there's trust issues. See, there's something here to do with trust. Somebody here, like little mind games manipulation. Someone who's playing little games and then they make an excuse. But don't worry because you're already connecting with this other person. Let's have a look at the Queen of Earth. I think this is a youthful person in your life. Or it has to do with this person. It has to do with taking control. See, it's an energy of something swooping in out of the blue. I feel like someone's going to save you from this. I mean, it could be friends, people inviting you out and you go, and then you've got this person, and this person swoops in and saves you. But And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, I, I feel... 
stability. There's a place. You're going to go to a place or it's an invitation. Something's happening suddenly. Tell me about the tower. So it's, it's an energy of somebody rushing in here, coming in. I feel someone's coming to your rescue. A lot of talk where you're just drained. They come to your rescue. You, they might even take you someplace else. Um, I just see a lot of activity. I see this energy of hurry. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Seeing a lot of this energy lately. So the tower. All right, I got to focus. Why is that tower here? Daughter of Cups. Yeah, someone's going to ask you out. You're tempted. But the tower, it's coming in out of the blue. This is a place where you're going to be. But I also see something to do with business and work. There we have the temptation. So this is, it's like the temperance, see, biting the apple. <laughs> uh, but it's also an energy. Like, like I say, you might be tempted with someone here, but I do, like I say, it. They're, they're talking, communicating, a lot going on. But this is where someone suddenly puts on the brakes. This person's coming in to take control. They're determined to win. It's almost like they're gonna chase this other person away. They're getting in between this. So we have the temptation, two people talking. Yeah, you, you've you got this some pretty positive energy here. Who's this? Pay? This is where I feel, I'm going to be honest, I feel you're going to make up an excuse or this person makes up an excuse for you, whatever it is that happens. But I feel, you know, like I say, it's just someone feeling a little apprehensive. Yeah, see, it's somebody trying to manipulate a little. But what is happening is this person coming in, taking control. They're just swooping in out of the blue, you see? And that's why you're going to now change your focus. You're not interested. And it may not all happen in the same place, but it's one thing leads to another. Wheel of Fortune, the magician, you're manifesting something here. This is something that's going to go in your favor. A cycle's ending, a whole new cycle beginning. So this is some pretty intense energy. But I feel your your money and finances could tie together for some of you. But there's somebody here who doesn't want you to get away. Someone doesn't want you to get away. Or they want, because I feel they're going to it literally almost chase this other person away. They're taking control. But you're putting on the brakes with this person. See, I see um, four of wands. Yeah, it's a celebration, a gathering. I think you're going to get an invitation from someone. It's positive. It looks like fun. It doesn't look romantic, but I feel like you're drained. You don't want to go, but I feel like you're going to go. Because I, and I do feel if you're dealing with someone like this, this person comes, swoops right in and takes control, taking control of the conversation. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. See, there's some trust, Five of Swords. See, you got some trust issues. Something isn't right. Yeah, so you're having a hard trusting it. It's tempting. But look at the Two of Cups. See, friends first. If you, somebody here doesn't want to be a friend, they try to rush or they try to dominate the conversation. They talk too much. That's where I feel. You're going to avoid the temptation because something's going to feel off. I think this person knows something is off. They're coming to your rescue. So the daughter of cups, there you are dating someone. There's the world. See, it's an energy of change moving on. But look at the positive change coming. You're going to connect with someone. Now, this could be where you're just friends. You, you make friends with someone here. But it's an energy of something different, trying something different. There's something unique. There's some kind of idea. The passion is lit. But there's this, your love life in here somewhere. Someone's coming to your rescue. See, this is an energy of confidence, strength and confidence, looking on the past with kindness, compassion. See, you've got trust issues from the past. Because it has to do with somebody telling you that you're attractive or you're hot, you know, or that kind of energy, right? This is often a person who focuses on that wand. But the, the this fire is lit between you and this other person. I, I, I feel, like I say, you might have a date with someone that leads to another. But this person, that's what I like to see, putting on the brakes, taking another look. Someone here is looking at this. They're figuring something out that someone here is, they might know this person. They're in that social circle that they're up to something. And that's why I feel they're coming to your rescue because they're swooping in. And it confirms it with this 
eight of wands in the chariot swooping in out of the blue to your rescue. <laughs> your wish is my command. Your chariot awaits. This person's going to take you somewhere else. I got a feeling they're going to take you somewhere else. You're going to connect, have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, son of cups, dating and courting. They're going to be asking you out. Like I say, you're going to go somewhere else or you're going to have two or three dates. But it all has to do with the money. It all It's all going to tie together because you both are similar. King and Queen of Pentacles, planning, preparing ahead. So you're going to be connecting with this person i i i love this because i'm seeing this the magician you're manifesting you mirror each other you're very much the same this is a soulmate you're gonna like i say it could be just a friend in the social circle but like i say one thing's gonna lead to the other here and it's gonna go in your favor it's not going in that person's page of water energy this person might apologize to you but i also i feel it connects with you making up excuses <laughs> see don't make up excuses to not go out and take this opportunity because I see uh, a business opportunity uh, with the Queen of Earth, Ten of Pentacles, stability and this change, uh, abundance, change and abundance. And it has to do with kind of just going with the flow. You can see this energy of going with the flow, the daughter of the cups. You're going to have an epiphany. You're going to have that realization. There's some kind of sudden change and it starts with that chariot. You're going to change how you feel. I feel some of you are working so much you're not paying enough attention to your love life at times. But this person wants to connect. I do think friends first. They're different than your usual type. But I feel like it's the energy of being tempted by this other person too. This person's coming in to take the lead. <laughs> I wish, I still feel it's a child. Something to do with children or someone youthful, playful. Because the chariot tells me that full steam ahead, someone's determined. And because I see the seven of swords, they're going to win. They're not letting this other. It's an energy of something that's worth going after. But it has to do with a, a house, a home, a celebration. This is someone who's not going to let you get away. So there it is. Trans this is where it all changes. Change and transformation. See, this isn't going to go anywhere. But this is, see, to do with house and home, to do with your financial foundation. There's going to be a reason to celebrate. So I wish you the best. Now, what I feel overall here, take the opportunity, and I'll say it again and again, because I feel like some of you aren't going to do it, okay, where you're going to miss this opportunity, and then you're going to realize, oh, no, it's too late once you have that realization that you need to do it. So... Because I feel it's going to bring in sudden positive change, money, finances, growth. But this person could change your whole world with the Wheel of Fortune. The timing is right. It's being at the right place and the right time. So take care and we'll see you soon.